Hello, my friends. It's Rachel here. I'm so excited to be here today. I want to um, tell you how it all began, tell you how I got to where I am at in my life. And to do that, I want to tell you a little bit about my journey along the way and why I'm so passionate in gut health. I, um, it started years ago when I was five years old. When I was five years old, I woke up one morning and my eyes were glued shut and they had like gotten all goopy in the night. And as a five-year-old, I was terrified and I thought I had gone blind. And I remember going into my mom's room crying that I had gone blind and not realizing that I had developed seasonal allergies. And I had been playing outside the day before and these seasonal allergies had caused my eyes to like goop all up and they had like glued shut. So my new normal became every morning I had to get a warm washcloth and I had to like put them over my eyes for 10 to 15 minutes every day. And that warm washcloth like de-junk them and everything so my eyes could open and I could see. And I learned to stay inside during the summer because I became allergic to like everything in nature. Every plant, grass, tree, weed. And then I also was allergic to everything that had fur. So all the animals. And the things that I was worse was horses and grasses. And we lived on an acre next to a field of horses. <laughs> so my life outside in the country was very, very full of allergies all the time. And so from April to fall every year, like I couldn't breathe. My eyes itched, my throat hurt. Like I just was miserable. And I lived on allergy shots. I lived on Benadryl and Benadryl just makes you tired and sleepy. And so I just learned to like deal with it. And that was just my new normal. And I got shots twice a week in each arm and over time, like it helped a little bit, but it kind of just made it bearable, but never really like took away the allergies. And then as my teenage years progressed, I developed depression. And I was one of those people that I was a silent sufferer. Like I never told anybody what I was feeling. I never told anybody what I was going through. I probably came out, well, I know it came out as just being an angry teenager all the time that wasn't happy. But really, like I always wondered like, what's wrong with me? Because why can't I just be happy? Like why do I live in this dark cloud where I'm just sad all the time? It was like I was in this rut and I couldn't get out of this rut. And in college, I moved away to Hawaii. And for a few years, I had a little bit of enjoyment because my allergies seemed to kind of go away a little bit in that, in that tropical climate. And I ran in college. I'd always been a runner and active. And so that kind of helped my, kept my health a little bit good with my allergies. But I developed a lot of other issues. Like I had racing heart. Um, I was constipated all the time. I was tired all the time. And um, my mom throughout the years had taken me to a lot of like homeopathic doctors. We went to nat nature paths. We went to chiropractors. We went to um, energy workers. Uh, uh, we would go to the vitamin stores and they would teach us how to like test your body and see what it needed and muscle testing and all those kinds of things. So I had grown up like trying tinctures and trying all these other things to see if that would help as well. So like I had tried like everything out there, the, the voodoo woman, and the, the natural, the Western medicine, everything. And so when I was in college, I started researching gut health even more. Well, and I didn't really research gut health. I researched um, allergies and I researched natural supplements and things like that. And, um, and I knew that I always had candida. So I had learned about candida and sugar in the body and how you can have, um, candida that causes problems and things like that. And so I'd learned a little bit about that, but gut health wasn't as broad knowledge as it is now. And so in college, there was this, um, professor and his wife opened this natural, uh, vitamin place. And I went there on a weekly basis and I'm sure she just like loved it every time I walked in that door because she'd be like, this is the newest, greatest thing. And I'd be like, done. I even did like colon cleanses and, and all those things. And like, like cleanses in my body, colon cleanses, like 
I had the slate, if any of you know what that is, like to let your poop ball come out and all that kind of stuff. And so I had horrible cold sores all the time and my depression got worse, my uh, fatigue got worse. And, and I think the only thing that saved me is I was so uh, involved athletically. Like I ran all the time and I was very active and I hiked a lot. And so that kind of helped me go along as I got that physical exercise. And so years later, fast forward, I get married, I start having kids. Um, my fatigue starts getting worse and worse. And I'm like, okay, I'm smart. I'm smart. I have a college degree. Like I know these things. Like if I eat right and I exercise, like I'll feel better. And I would eat right and I'd exercise and I'd be more tired and I couldn't get out of bed. And, and I started feeling like this horrible mom. And so I like had this desire and my weight started going up and up and I couldn't control it. And I'm like, I eat right and I exercise and I get on the scale every day and it goes up a pound every day. And I almost got to the point that I would like laugh at the scale. I'd be like, of course I went up three more pounds. I didn't eat anything yesterday. Of course I went up three more pounds, you know? And I got to the point that like, I really wanted a change and I really wanted to lose weight. And I thought that if I lost weight, all my problems would be solved. So over the years, I tried every company, every product, every this, every that, every diet, every fad, like to like try to lose this weight because I thought that losing weight would make me happy. But inside, really, it was, I didn't feel good in my own skin. My clothes didn't fit. I was tired all the time. I didn't enjoy being a mom. I hated getting out of bed in the morning. I dreaded going to sleep at night because I knew I would just lay there for hours and wouldn't be able to sleep. And then I'd be exhausted the next morning. And it was this vicious cycle. And I got to the point that like, even light was so sensitive that like my blind stayed shut all day and I like kept lights off. And it was almost like I was becoming a hermit in my own little world. And I didn't enjoy going out with friends anymore. And you know, and you justify and you're like, but I don't need friends. I got my kids and this is my life. And da, 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 da. And so that just kept closing in on me and all of those insecurities of uh, there's something wrong with me because I can't figure it out. And, um, why can't I be happy? And I have a wonderful husband and I love my kids yet. I was not enjoying life. And that, those were the things that like internally I was feeling, even though on the outside I was like, I just need to lose a little weight. If I lose weight, I'll be happy, you know, and I might lose a little weight every now and again doing something and it didn't bring the happiness. And then I just gain it right back. And so I was at a point in my life where I was like, something has to change. And I remember over the years, I'd go into the doctors and I'd be like, I have this long list of things. Like something's wrong with me. Check my thyroid, check this, check that, you know, kind of a thing. And I remember one doctor like, did some tests and he's like, Oh, like he thought I had cancer and I had this like cancer scare of like, Oh my gosh, like what if I have cancer? And, and I started doing a ton of research and I was researching all like, okay, if I have this, it, this diagnosis, like what can I do and what are the natural things that I can do to help heal this and help my body heal? And that's when I was like, Oh my gosh, like this is all the stuff I learned in college and in high school, like the gut health. And, and I started researching gut health. And, and the more I started researching, the more I started realizing like candida was part of gut health. Allergies are related to gut health. Depression's related to gut health. Anxiety, uh, fatigue, like all of the things I had been struggling with all related back to gut health. And I was like, how did I like learn about candida, learn about allergies, learn about homeopathic treatments. And I never like put it all together. That was, if I heal my gut, my body will heal because 80 to 90% of all those symptoms are all related to my gut and my gut health. And I knew I had poor gut health because I'd been on candida cleanses and sugar pills and all these things my whole life. And I was diabetic through my pregnancies and, you know, and, and pre-diabetic after and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, even blood sugars related to gut health. And like, all of those things, like if your gut's out of whack, your insulin's out of whack, and your cortisol, and that, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's related to my sleep, and why I don't sleep every night, and why I lay, lay there for hours and I can't sleep, and then I like 
fall asleep and get way back up. But then in the morning, I'm exhausted. And I'm like, if I'm exhausted, why can't I fall asleep? And it's like that circadian rhythms and, and all that cortisol was like throwing my sleep out of whack. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is all related to gut health. So that was like that aha moment of like, why didn't I know this before? Why, could, why didn't I realize that like gut health was the missing piece to the whole puzzle? Like I would go to doctors and they'd be like, well, I just specialize in eyes or I just specialize in throat. And I'd be like, but I want all of my issues. They, they're all related. And, and doctors wouldn't like talk about the whole body. And I was like, gut health, that's the key to the whole body. And it's like, the more I learned, the more I was like so excited to like keep learning and keep learning and and I already had the diet and I already had the exercise. And so I just needed to add in the third one, which was good supplements because you need to detox your body and then you need to replenish it and detox your body and replenish it. And so I found some really good supplements that were quality. They weren't just like grocery store ones that I had been taking. I'd been taking probiotics for like 30 years and some of them like tasted like cows, mixed them up in a drink and you drink it. And it was like grass and cows. And I was like, but it's good for me. It's good for me. You know, well, I realized I wasn't taking quality supplements that had the right ingredients in them. And when I started doing that and I started combating that candida and that candida overgrowth and healing my gut, it was like, all of a sudden I started feeling better. And my plan was like, just to keep going and keep going. But then, you know, your head trash comes in and it's like, but what if this is one more thing that doesn't work? What if this is one more thing that I do and, you know, I gain the weight back and I was like, then I won't be happy anymore because I'll gain weight back. And people will know that I tried one more thing and it didn't work and that this is just the way I am. And maybe, maybe God meant my body to be this size and I need to accept it. And maybe my body, maybe my trial in life is to always have allergies and always feel bad. And then I can just relate to other people that feel bad. And that's my blessing in life is to help other people through that stuff. Because you know, sometimes it's, you know, just genetics and, and I just need to accept it. And that's the way I am, you know? And then I was like, no, no, like I have been researching. And as you heal your gut, like your body can heal. And as you heal your body, your body goes through changes and your body can go through die off and detox. And sometimes you're like, wait, I felt better. And now I feel worse again. And it was educating myself in that that's a process that my body had to go through to clean it all out. Like you can't just clean something out that you've been like trashing for 40 years. You know, if you kind of think of like going into the kitchen and making this gourmet meal and these desserts and all these side dishes and stuff, like the kitchen's going to get dirty. The dishes are going to get dirty and you're going to have to grime and do it. And then in the end, you got to like clean it all up. And then you have this great thing in the end, but you can't like make things without dirtying the dishes. And so my body had to do junk. And if you think of your gut like a garden, your garden is full of all of this flora and bacteria and all these good plants. So all these plants are all your good flora, your good bacteria. Well, when you have candida overgrowth and all of those things, it's like you have a garden full of weeds. And we all know that every spring, everyone hates to go out to that garden and dig up all those weeds because they're overgrown and they're thick and they're strong and their roots are deep. And it's not easy. It's not just picking up a plant. It's like digging in deep and like getting down and killing it and all that stuff. And then once you kill it, you got barren land. You got to like go repopulate. You got to like plant good seeds. And so as you clean out your gut, you have to re-nourish it and you have to put those good seeds back in. And then you have to actually take care of it because if you just plant good seeds and walk away, those weeds are gonna grow back and they're gonna overtake those plants and they're not gonna allow them to grow. But if constantly every day you're out there picking those little weeds so that the plants can get bigger and bigger, then eventually you have a flourishing garden again. And that garden can, can flourish and then you have a few weeds here and there, but it's okay. And that's kind of like how our gut is. Like you have this gut and it's got all this good bacteria and it's okay to have a little bit of bad bacteria in there, but then you do something like you take an antibiotic or you have stress in your life or you take birth control or you have a traumatic event or uh, you have anxiety or depression or you worry all the time or you eat processed foods and that kills all that good flora and you're barren. And when it's barren, 
the weeds will grow. And so I learned that my gut was full of all these weeds and it was going to take time. And it was going to take a lot of time because gut health does not happen overnight. It's a process and it's not a scale victory. It's not like I can wake up and stand on the scale and be like, oh, gut health is now at an eight. I need it to be a 10. It's an eight now. It's getting better. Like that's something you can't see because it's things inside you that are healing. And a lot of times it takes a lot of healing on the inside before the outside starts to heal. And, and so I was like, okay, okay, okay. And so I started like healing my gut. And I started actually losing some weight, but I actually started losing some inches because I was getting rid of the inflammation in my body. And so like the puffiness in my face went away and my waist was getting smaller and the scale wasn't really changing. But the thing that was so great about it is that even though that scale wasn't changing, I was changing. I was feeling better. My health was getting better. And even though I thought weight was the answer to my happiness, I started enjoying life. I started loving to wake up in the morning. I started getting up early, even before the alarm clock didn't get up. It, you know, didn't ring. I'd like get up and be like, what do morning people do? I've never been a morning person in my entire life. I'd always think like, why would you get up if you don't have to get up? Because I had always been exhausted my entire life. So I'm like, why would anyone choose to get out of bed until they have to? So if I had to get out of bed at six, I'd get out of bed at six. If I didn't have to get out of bed, I wouldn't get out of bed. Like I'd Nine and 10 to me was getting up early, like 11 to 12 was sleeping in, you know? And so if I had something on a weekend and I had to get up, great. But if I didn't, I'd be like, please just let me sleep. Please just let me sleep. Let the kids just know that I just want to sleep because I need to catch up on my sleep because I'm so exhausted. And it never worked. And so when I started waking up, I'm like, what do morning people do? I don't know what morning people do. I don't know what people do when they wake up in the morning and they don't have to. And so I would like start doing laundry and stuff. And my husband would be like, are you mad at me? Like, why are you, why are you getting out of bed early? And I'm like, I don't know. I just, I just wake up and I have so much energy and like, I don't know why I'm not exhausted. And I realized that like, I was getting the rest that my body needed and my cortisol was starting to balance out and I had energy and I like was enjoying life again and I wasn't so mean to my kids and I wasn't so snappy and I was more patient. And I started to realize that like, I was getting my life back. My joints didn't hurt. My knees didn't hurt. My ankles didn't hurt. I could start exercising longer and harder. And, you know, a lot of people just excuse it away and they go, oh, it's just old age. I'm just getting older. That's just how it is. And I started realizing that's not how it is. You don't have to feel that way. Like there's answers. Like, like there's ways to feel good and you don't have to excuse it away. You can feel good, enjoy life and like grow old gracefully. Like I feel like the older I get, the younger I feel now because my body is healing. God meant for your body to be able to function and to be able to keep going. And, you know, the pioneers used to have to like hard labor every day and now we don't have to do that. And so like we exercise and stuff and then we're like, oh, my knee hurts and they stop exercising. And you just, you don't solve the problem. You just go, that's how it is. I have bad knees. Everyone in my family has bad knees. I just, I can never run. I can never exercise. I can never bike. Like, and you excuse it away. And I realize I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't have to excuse it away. I don't have to accept this as my normal. I don't have to accept this as my life. I can heal my body and I can fight back and I can get my life back. And then I started realizing that like, if I could do this, anybody else could do this. And how many people do I know that like, say they don't have health issues, but they totally do behind closed doors that they're silent sufferers too. And they're secretly trolling the internet, trying products, ordering things, and like trying all these things to lose weight or help their thyroid because they think that's what's going to bring them happiness. When really, if their body is healthy and healed, that's what's going to bring them happiness because they're going to be enjoying life and they're going to live life to the fullest. And they're going to like, want to enjoy their years as they get older and they're retired and enjoy their grandkids, enjoy their kids, enjoy their, like be able to like laugh and play and run around at the playground. Like I can play with my kids now. I don't sit on the bench and be like, are you done yet? Did we play enough? Like now I can like be pushing the swings and running around and I enjoy it and I love it and I'm not exhausted and I'm not tired and you don't have to be tired as a mom. You don't have to be exhausted. You don't have to like work all day and come home and be exhausted at night. You can come home, enjoy your kids, enjoy your spouse, enjoy your grandkids. And then there's an answer to all those problems that people have.
And so the more I learn and the more I research, like I learn more and more about gut health and realize that like there's a gut brain connection. I can't speak gut brain connection that your gut is your second brain. And then if we heal that, like your body can feel better. And there are a lot of other things you can do. Diet, exercise, gut health, you know, Western medicine has a place, you know, like all those things are all tools. And gut health is one tool that you've got in your tool belt now that you can like attack and that you can like go, okay, I'm going to fight back. I'm going to like make my body healthy. Most people don't care about their body until the doctor tells them their blood tests come back. They have a diagnosis. They have a problem. They need surgery, those kinds of things. And then all of a sudden they go, oh, wait, maybe, maybe I should care about what I eat. Maybe I should care if I exercise. Maybe I should care about like healing my body. But most people, they don't want to do that. They just want a pill that like, salt map you know if I, I have this issue just give me a pill that solves the problem but they don't realize that like those problems like are not just one problem one problem leads to another problem leads to another problem leads to another problem and then one day they're stuck in a wheelchair on 50 medications and they don't know how they got there and so that's why i'm now passionate about helping people learn about gut health and healing their bodies and educating them and letting them know that gut health is one of the secrets that like can heal our bodies and help us heal. And so that's a little bit about my story. I'm so excited to like teach you guys along the way and help share some of my knowledge. And hopefully you can take a little bit of that knowledge and help you here and use it as a tool here and go, Oh, that's so good. And, and slowly incorporate things in your life so that you can get your life back and you can have energy and you can enjoy it. And you can just feel like you're getting younger and younger as years go by as well. So I hope you have a great day and I hope you come back and listen to me again. If you um, want to want to learn more, you can always go to healandbehealthy.com and I'll talk to you later.